tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. After Buzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Yeah! <laughs> hello, hello! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Shameless Sunday. We are on season five, episode two, called I'm the Liver. I'm your host, JJ Jurgens, and I'm joined here tonight by... Hello, everyone. I'm Haley Clover. Everybody welcome Haley. It's our first Yay. show here at After Buzz. <laughs> Yay! We're happy to have her. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she will be on the Shameless panel for the rest of the season now, so we'll be having lots of fun for the rest yeah. of the season. And we want to give a shout out to Drea and Joyce. Drea is stuck in the airport, and Joyce had family, but the whole gang will be back together next week for you. So, Good. So you have the two of us today. So anyway, let's. a lot of things in this episode. A lot, a lot happened. Always. It was a good was shameless right? right always so many so many things going on i know just yeah just when you see one crazy thing something else turns you get it from another exactly. angle so well let's first dive in and start talking about this donor dinner that frank gets called to so oh my god ridiculous like ridiculous yeah. yes the concept of having everyone over you know after your son donated all of his organs is insane <laughs> and we immediately were like oh that's where the title came from right when they have their exactly. name the lungs and yeah so and then we see frank not being so so good there he's already um upsetting them by having some cocktails or having some wine with with dinner exactly and <laughs> which he pours the wine and the lady's like oh my god like you can't drink on a donor liver and the other guy's like well hell then somebody <laughs> passed me a smoke and it's the guy that's the lungs yeah oh my gosh insane such a bad influence their faces too just seem like oh they were shocked and then we see um poor sammy who still in this episode is struggling to get acceptance from frank so we see, really see her kind of take some desperate actions to, yes. to be and a part Sheila. of that yeah, yeah yeah um did you think she would stoop as far as to having um chucky leave sheila a little present in the living room <laughs> Um, no, that's hilarious. And I'm like glad she did because it was just so funny. She was like, okay, I'm going to give you a little privacy. And then you see yeah. him just like drop his pants right in the middle of the, uh, in the living room. And because of <laughs> Sheila's like OCD, you knew it was going to be insane when oh, she yeah. found it. <laughs> and her was reaction great. was classic. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that she gave it back though. Yeah. In a she, plastic bag. <laughs> me too. Perfect. I, Sheila again gave us so many like wonderful moments like she always does. Oh, just yeah. her, the way she, you know, and I loved her, um, just the fight when she struggles to um, when she didn't want Sammy to go and was saying how she wasn't invited and then Frank who I thought actually you know because it was like okay Sammy does kind of make a point it is Father's Day so maybe she should be involved in this kind of stuff and then when he leaves her yeah they're just running down the street <laughs> it's like <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Well, I think uh, Sheila's growing some balls. Yeah. Like I don't know what you think but every episode yeah. she's starting to like do more mm -hmm. and like get back at people and have a bigger voice you know which i think uh, is yeah. hilarious because she's one of my favorite characters yeah totally me too yeah remember back in the days when she could barely leave the house and step foot now she's exactly <laughs> turning turds exactly. and, and all kinds of stuff but yeah <laughs> i love seeing to her face when she when she realized frank was on her team with that and they were just skipping down the you know oh my down God. the sidewalk just <laughs> so the happy best. she was so yeah. happy that's so funny yeah i like to i like to see that well i thought when sammy was sneaking in there and she got the card so i thought she was going to I, I didn't see I didn't see the turd coming. I thought that she was gonna sell try to sell the house out from underneath them. That's true. Or like which which could still maybe be coming up. So right. She still does have that that card for right. her. But well, I don't know. Now that Sheila left, you know, the episode with you're annoying. Yeah. Like your dad doesn't want to be with you. I wonder if she's gonna change a little bit. Yeah. Do you think her she will? Attitude. I think she's gonna try, mm -hmm. but I I think she's gonna fake it. Actually, that's what I think. I think she's going to act like she's better just uh -huh. to like get in the good graces of both um, Frank and Sheila, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's true. Yeah, I I think she's going to try to because I really think it did hit home. We see it on her face and yeah. I think she was like, you know, I mean, really, I, you do feel for her. She took, it took her this long to find her dad and now her dad still doesn't want. Right. So maybe she will back well, down Frank. a little bit. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it, is. it is Frank. So, well, we shall see <laughs> what happens. Oh, oh we, this is kind of to backtrack a little bit. The, the episode opens. We see Frank up there with 
of some young kid, you know, giving him his new milk of the gods that he's created. Right. You know, so... <laughs> his beer, which is made out of God knows what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and apparently super potent if the guy's going to trade him the bag of weed for... Exactly. <laughs> for oh, the, my gosh. For he was girl. probably just high when yeah. he did that. <laughs> yeah, probably true. Probably true. Yeah. Nothing, really. So funny. Yeah. Oh, but just, Hilarious. yeah, Frank up watching the sun rise is just, yeah, Frank, Frank. So, all right, let's dive into talking about, um, we see more of Ian's anger in this episode and more of his bipolar episodes. Yes. Um, so he ends up finding out that one of, uh, that a soldier has died, didn't die in war, but died in an accident. He's really taking, you know, really wants to honor that and be, which Mickey's having a hard time. Well, why does he have to get all dressed up in the uniform and go and go with it but he's really passionate and you know wants to be there for him right but yeah so what did you think about his um anger when the the protesters were at the i mean how could he not get mad yeah you know he's recently you know came out and finally has mickey that's totally out and Mm -hmm. you know finally okay with everything and then you have these people that come in and just yell them first yeah. of all the most ridiculous thing that like doesn't even make sense yeah totally well i mean what were they saying they were saying <sighs> god um god kills something soldiers because, because he because america hates faggots faggots. Or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was something like that yeah, yeah something it was ridiculous insane. yeah yeah so i mean how can you not get mad but because yeah. of his bipolar issues i mean he's taking it to the next level you know saying yeah. he's gonna burn down the church that they're from and kill people and just yeah. So the fact that Mickey doesn't want to get him help is probably going to be bad in the next couple episodes. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you because it's like I could totally understand him having that reaction at the funeral because there's no need for that. I mean, there's no need for that ever, but there's definitely no need for them to be at a funeral and, you know, quiet personal right. ceremony and be doing things like that. So right. bipolar or not, I think that reaction was completely <laughs> justified and exactly. what you know, I'd probably do in that same situation. Right. Um, but yeah, but having Mickey and then we see Mandy worried about him too. Like they both know that now that he's he's just going to escalate this and just beyond, be beyond. Right. Yeah. And the fact that they're not, you know, getting Fiona involved and trying to put uh-huh. an end to it. Yeah. So they ended up organizing this crew um, to set up this, which I wondered when we see <laughs> Mandy in like her church outfit. Oh, first yeah. I was like, this is kind of the first we've seen, you know, her and her looking oh, like yeah. that. And I was like, oh, what? I wonder what she has going going on in her life now she like is cleaned, cleaned up, up and maybe has a job or you know something but yeah <laughs> we quickly find out that she's part of the ploy so yes. what did you think about the ploy to be setting up the priest so much better <laughs> than actually hurting someone yes or you know yes. burning down the church it's it's gonna be hilarious now that they've put it out on twitter and Facebook mm-hmm. and all of these different social media outlets um it's it's gonna be funny the construction yeah. workers saw it at the end I'm yeah. pretty sure on their screen they were like, what the hell? <laughs> but yeah, it should be funny. Yeah, I th- me too. I was so glad that that's the way they handled it. And I just, it was, that it was, poor it was kid was like, I'll just, I'll take one for I the know. team. <laughs> and even when he said that, I thought, oh no, they're going to, is he going to hurt him? Like, yeah, he right. put himself yeah, up, he but didn't yeah. know exactly what he was going to do. <laughs> but it, it, it was perfect. Yeah. You know, that whole, whole guy, the guy with priest face, and then he's just, oh God. <laughs> it was just awesome the way they handled it. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think, um, I guess, well, that'll kind of be in our predictions, but I think that it's just going to keep escalating from here with him. It just... Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially seeing his mom and all of her history, it's not going to get better. It's going to get much worse, you know? So Yeah. If he's not medicating correctly and all that, well... Yes. We shall see. Well, on a brighter note, we have Lip, <laughs> who has a new job. I don't know how much of a brighter note for him this is, though. So right. he started his construction job. Yes, so. putting on a good face for those guys by mm-hmm. uh, not falling over at the end of the work shift. Yeah, and his hands all oh, just, God, yeah. all blistered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, but he, I mean, he's doing good. They they're all hard workers. That's mm-hmm. one thing that you can say. You know, even though they steal everything, and yeah. you know, they they're still hard workers. They've always had jobs and. So, yeah, that's what I like about this, too. I, you know, I like that he's back and, you know, now we're going to see some conflicts with him because he's getting booby pics from Amanda. <laughs> and then he now has Mandy, who right away basically said, I'm here for the summer, you know, yeah, if you want get me. Together. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> she could have played that a little more coy. She didn't need to, like, the offer that hair. Her. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Yeah. She just went for it. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that should be funny. Old habits die hard, right? I mean, they're going to for sure 
Of course, <laughs> yeah. That, and I still think because last week we kind of said that there, if if he goes back to her, that then there might be um, if Amanda comes for a visit this summer, then we might get some drama with the, with the two ladies, which I would actually right. look forward to because I do like Amanda too. Um, and of course, she's the more like stable probably good choice for him but right. yeah and before I used to never be team Mandy but I still I want to see them you know what like, that's I'm glad you said that because I do not like her mm-hmm. I never liked her when they were together when she kind of just like started yeah. living at their house it was just so annoying yeah she was kind of like very needy you know but uh she, yeah she's kind of growing on me yeah a little she's bit a little bit she's getting a little stronger too yeah not, not as needy herself exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so it'll be funny to see see where that goes um but yeah but I, I like this the, I think this will really make him also think about you know before we in the seasons past we see him all almost ready to leave school or give that up and then in this first season episode last week we see him kind of having a weird kind of contemplation when he's on the train coming back to this world again so I, I think it's I think this will be a great job for him to have to realize that you know if, if he does stay there and if if this this is a life he could have working this really hard labor you know or he could also um use that work ethic and and use his brains in the school and maybe have even a, you know brighter i'm gonna say better but just a different future for yeah. him for himself too but more other, financially stable yeah future. <laughs> yeah. yeah and not just hanging out of the bar after work for and sure. yeah maybe something different. but i but i like that it's gonna make, make him and think about all these things. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I think we're all rooting for them too to, you know, get out of that crappy town yeah. and, you know, have a little better life. Yeah. So hopefully we uh, start to see at least some of the characters, you know, progress a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, someone we see progressing, we see Kev. <laughs> Go, still, he's Kevin be so funny. I mean, he's just so funny. Yeah. Like, there, everything that comes out of Kev's mouth is just hilarious. He's it, so funny. He really is. And the two of them together, like, I know V is a little annoyed right now, but, I mean, just because of her situation. But, I mean, it's just... She's it's, hormonal. Yeah. <laughs> but, it, but it's hilarious to see her just, like, unapologetically, like, just... You know, like, she's not kind of trying to cover the fact that, that this sucks for her, that she's having a hard time being a mom, and that, you know, she's... So at least she's not, like, keeping that bottled inside. Exactly. You know, because she goes over to Fiona's in the morning, looking, and she totally forgot that it was Father's Day, and whenever she has the babies, they won't stop crying, but when Kev holds them, they stop. Right, and, you know, right. So, and I love that they be. made it Father's Day, like, right after she had the kids. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. she's doing so much, and all of a sudden, it's Father's Day, it's like, I need pancakes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or I need waffles. Yeah, yeah. chocolate chips. Exactly. Actually, crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, a turn that I didn't see coming though is seeing Kevin Svetlana like a pair up budding for... relationship. Yeah. 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 What did you think about their little pairing? Well, she plays a good part. Like, yeah. let me start off by saying that she's yes. she's really funny. But um, I think it's hilarious that he just like passed over his baby so that she could. <laughs> breastfeed them you know what I mean it's like no one in their right mind would be like hey here's yeah. my kid like yeah, yeah. pop him on your boob especially <laughs> you know I mean? to somebody whose like job is as a prostitute you know right. I probably wouldn't be the first person I'd hand my baby off to, to right yeah, but... you don't know where those have been right yeah exactly <laughs> yeah though it's it's funny though um because it's something you know we didn't see it coming but it's something Kevin would do yeah. like it's totally predictable of him yeah um uh, but I love that she started you know trying to call the shots for him like oh uh-huh. well, you don't have uh, the balls in this relationship you know yeah. all that kind of stuff so we'll see what happens with uh, Svetlana and V that's gonna definitely be some kind of uh, oh yeah yeah cause it, <laughs> yeah because Svetlana I mean this was kind of it, even though she was still like busting his balls this was this, a softer side to her we've seen right. even, even kind of in the last episode too now that they're all kind of getting along and doing this business and stuff together because right. in the other episodes you know not at all so i did i did enjoy seeing more of her you know and yeah. seeing yeah and, it's a different relationship that she has with kev than with mickey yeah it's something like totally definitely. different yeah yeah yeah, and I really I liked seeing you know even though at first it'd be like oh gr- oh no you know but seeing seeing her interact with Debs and yeah. you know help De- help Debs out a well, little bit. Well, it's kind of nice like because you can tell Debbie's like really just like needs some kind of womanly attention. Yeah. You know her focus is totally on the wrong thing. Like all she wants to do is lose her virginity. Yeah, but yes. no one has told her anything about it i mean she keeps throwing herself out there to these guys like yeah. that guy at the pool we can we let's can talk, talk about, about the pool thing for a minute <laughs> oh Debs. oh my god that we were laughing so hard 
in the, the show sh- yeah, in the screening room yeah. oh my god i mean the show just kind of won't let them i mean last year it was last year or two we had the retard nation chant and like they just and it just makes you feel horrible for it's hard to even say laugh. it right yes it yeah. is like i feel horrible but but just deb's face when she realized poor she has ice cream <laughs> all over her and then she tries to give him the seductive eye but yes. she's like yeah. And then he thinks that she's out of the group and, and just starts talking slowly to her. Are you lost? <laughs> it was classic. It was, so cla- it was a classic shameless moment. Her I loved like, it. best reaction, though, she just turns around and like jumps right yes, in the pool. That's like, <laughs> like pencil dives just like right into the pool. <laughs> that's when we got our biggest laugh out, which is like she just couldn't even respond and she just turns. And just oh my God. So funny, too. Well, and they set it up so well because, you know, he was attractive younger kid kid you know well, and, and like, his girlfriend uh, or oh, whoever was said you know you'll f anything with legs yeah so she was like oh yes like, okay <laughs> Poor Deb, but not yeah. yeah oh my god well to back up we see that holly who is her bitchy friend that we still want her to get rid of anyway yeah. is still not talking to her and then she's so mean to her when so so deb's and um carl have their virginity <laughs> contest of who can lose it first over right. the summer um but yeah, pretty so good for carl. yeah i yeah. think even in a wheelchair and a broken ankle, leg, whatever he has, right? he probably still. Oh my god! Yeah, he, he's yeah, because he's so cute. And he's he just is. A little we were charmer. saying he's yeah. getting cuter. He's yeah. like you can see them growing up, which is fun. Yeah. You know, if you've watched from the first season yeah. on, it's cool to see them uh, them grow up. But yeah, he's really a, such a player. Yeah, so oh, funny. Yeah, he's he's gonna be bad, 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 bad. Yeah. So anyway, so it was fun to see then Debs go to Svetlana and she tries to teach her how to give give seductive looks and how and then cuts her hair and does her makeup. It looks good. Yeah. I think the hair looks good. Oh, I love the hair. Yeah. The makeup was definitely whorish. Like yeah. I said. yeah. <laughs> Need to tone it down, but uh, she looked she looked good. I yeah. think it's gonna you know give her some confidence. Yeah. I think yeah. so too. When it was toned down a little bit, and um, then when she you know. Uh, Fiona changes her out of. She's like, you don't need those slutty shorts, and she's you know modified. She's I think she's gonna do well with that right, with her new good. look. I mean, yeah. she's fourteen. Yeah. She doesn't need to be. Yeah, <laughs> kids are growing up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> they sure are. She's in Chicago too. I'm from the Midwest, and we didn't. Yeah, we didn't grow up as quickly there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So not only did Svetlana give her a makeover, she decides that Kev needs to grow some balls again and cut all of his hair off and take charge because exactly. he really he lets her know that that v really likes the hair so right but he doesn't we, yeah. he wants to cut it but because v you know wants it long he was gonna keep it long yeah so we knew this was gonna be a battle when she got home yeah she, yeah i'm almost surprised buzzed. that uh yeah completely buzzed all the i yeah. love it yeah i love it but i'm too. such a like short hair kind of girl i like, like short bo- hair i like both but his his was getting like too long and you know needed, Starting to yeah get like little, jesus look yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> like little, yeah this back in a ponytail or something. but yeah um yeah i'm actually surprised v didn't pretty much start a fight with svetlana right there and svetlana kind of got off easy she kind of sneaks out you know sneaks right. over and sneaks out i'm like yeah she got away with one there because you know v's not someone i'd want to start a fight with no no <laughs> she is definitely someone that uh, is ready to you know go at it yeah. at any time but uh yeah she she gets away from that one yeah close call yeah I, it's not forever though she's definitely getting beat up soon I, I, <laughs> someone's it's... getting punched in the face within the next couple episodes yeah, i agree sure. she's not she's not gonna stand for yeah she's gonna take charge back of her home again yeah and i think svetlana had we always like to kind of say some of our favorite quotes of the episode sometimes too and okay she had a couple this time <laughs> i know I which had. one you're saying too, yeah we both wrote it down for yeah sure. she had two she had um one is like a necessary evil like wha- um well did like you say like waxing your pussy like, oh yes about- yes yes yeah that was one and then the one about and i can't even read my writing but she, it was uh, she said she uterus. rents her uterus like a youth hospital yes that was it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah she had some good ones this time <laughs> yes oh my god she's funny yeah lots of good material for that character this time Gosh. Well, I love how they keep saying too. Like uh, Kevin was like, "Oh yeah, well my uh, mother-in-law did something like that for us," but then she decided to keep the kid. <laughs> like that, just that whole storyline is just so funny. Oh yeah, like, like that was just ridiculous, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like no way would I ever. I couldn't even picture that. I know, and, you, and how do you ever mom? get that out of... No! You don't. Uh-huh. You don't uh, get yeah, that out of exactly. your Exactly. <laughs> and that's what's so great about this show, though. They always give us so these things. You think, you know, it's like 
you see a storyline starting to go somewhere and you're like, no, no. It, and then, yes, yeah, it does. You're like, yeah, they, they will. They would do that. And yeah, and they do. So, yep. yeah. All right. Any Anything else about Kevin V or Mr.? I think we got, got talked about that. Yeah. All right. Well, let's talk about Fiona. So okay. we see her kind of going back. So she's already dated her boss in the past. And now we see her. Um, she's she's feeling free. She's got that ankle bracelet <laughs> off. And she's feeling a little ball. Yeah. 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 She, uh, yeah, she's getting feistier by the episode. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I like it, to be honest. I liked Fiona, the motherly, you know, figure. It's the uh, only, you know, mother figure these kids had. And now she's a little bit, uh, you know, on the edge of danger, even like yeah. Sean says. Yeah, you know, but I really, I love this interaction with those two. Like, I love him and um, just, yeah, just watching... You know, watching the struggle, because it's like, I kind of feel like that as a viewer, because I, I do kind of want to see them together, but then for all the all the reasons that seem sane, I'm like, no, because that's her boss again, they're in meetings together, that's right. just not the, the right choice for her right, right now, he's older, you know, whatever. Um, it's going to happen. Yeah. Well, it's going to happen, right? It has to. Something will happen. I mean, Some, I mean it doesn't still, ha- doesn't have to, but I, I guess I would like it to. I, I think I think <laughs> I think they'll definitely hook up. I think there's there was just so much I mean, that scene in the kitchen where he, you know, comes to her and is like tells her why that he can't do this. Wow. Well, I mean let's let's backtrack a second because let's talk about so she tries okay. to kind of she has a, her now free and clear ankle, so she yes. tries to use that to her advantage, you know, in the meeting. And then did you think he was going to be there when she walked out, or did you think she, that he took no, off I knew, on her? No, I, I knew that he left. Yeah. I could tell that he was getting, you know, upset. Not, uh-huh. uh, it, it wasn't not a good it. flirtation, yeah. Uh-huh. He was just kind of over it. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, then we find out it's because he just really, you know, doesn't want to fall back into his old ways of, you know, addiction yeah. and everything else. So he's trying to be responsible. Mm-hmm. And I think yeah. he reveals to us that he, that pretty much that was that women was his drug of choice before he even got into into any of the other narcotics. But uh, so I, I like seeing that also for this character because I think he seemed like when we first see him, he seems like so responsible and so mm-hmm. nice, and we see him getting Fiona on the right track. And so I, now I like that he has this little level, uh, um, this little edge of yeah, he, you know, he could mess up at any moment too. vulnerability. You yeah, know, for, for this, sure. for her. Well, and he's a little bit her. more of a dirty guy, you yeah. know, bad boy, which is always exactly. just <laughs> hot and so, <laughs> so much more. It gets us every time, yeah. right? Like, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter what girl you are. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, his uh, that whole monologue was yeah. powerful, really good. Yeah, really I'd be good. curious because I know they don't take, they don't shoot things too much. So I wonder if that was like a one or two, you know, scene or right. what, because just. The, just how intense they were and how close were you think they're almost gonna kiss and then then no it's just like oh I just made you so you just much feel, tension yeah, yeah totally yeah well and then this, uh, this the guy from the band is coming along yeah the shot. there's gonna be some kind of love triangle going on with those three for sure because uh, you know she's She's never been a one no one man kind of girl. Yeah, you know. I was really happy last week. I was hoping that the band guy was back because he was just hot in that accent. <laughs> right, his <laughs> so name like, David. David, David. uh huh. Yeah. So David is yeah. So he's, I mean, he's a little dirty too, but you know, but <laughs> he's he saying well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Right. When she took Debbie to the club. Yeah. Yeah. So so nobody will go with her, and she can't. Um, to the club so she ends up Deb's all made up so she yeah, takes her along with her but yeah then we start to see Ooh. a little bit of what Sean was talking about with her right. so, you know cause saying that she loved chaos and it follows her around and, yeah. and we have that older guy that hits on Debbie and eventually you know mm-hmm. Fiona punches him in the face yeah. Yeah. and then he punches Fiona in the face and yeah. you know they run off and uh you know their adrenaline's rushing but then all of a sudden she you can see her you know oh, face yeah. down she realizes that you know Debbie's just way too young yeah, to be in that club. Definitely. And and that she's and then she can also see how Debbie's just all smiles and loving Glowing. it and thinking it was so awesome. Yeah. So again, she's supposed to be the role model for her and she it's not Yeah, so I think his words just really hit home then when he's like, you know, I have a son and I'm never gonna put that relationship in danger and gonna choose that first and like she basically it's like she's her daughter and she just put her in a sort of situation right. that he's saying that he, Basically, he doesn't want for exactly. Yeah, so I think that'll be interesting to see how she. If, yeah, if I this... think she'll change a little bit in the next episode. You think it's, so? It's funny though, with you know every character in Shameless, they change like for a, 
like a I second know. in the next episode and then totally back to normal. That's what I somehow, I, I hope that, but I have, yeah, I have a feeling that she's not going to. <laughs> we'll see. But, yeah. More drinking yeah. and sex and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Well, we didn't talk because of right away, um, we didn't talk about when she was in the diner and she has the, and then the, the fat guy keeps wanting more butter, more this, more that, and just being a real dick to her. Yeah. And she puts up with it really well because I was, I was expecting her at one point to kind of go off on him in the restaurant. Oh, for she sure. Hand- yeah. yeah, for sure. So she handled that very well. And, yeah. You know, I can see why she's mad not getting tipped after all that, you oh, know? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Anyone that's worked in the service industry, and I'm working at a restaurant <laughs> right now, There's there are customers like that, like everywhere. <sighs> it's insane. You do all this stuff, and then all of a sudden you get the crappiest tip, and you're like, what? you've got to be kidding me. Have you ever called anybody so- out on it? Oh, gosh, you're usually not allowed. You know what I mean? Because otherwise yeah. you'd be like, really, dude? Like, yeah. come on. You've got to be kidding me. I, I wish. I wish. That happens yeah. all the time. It happened the other week where I worked, and it was just like, you feel so uh, bad for the server it happens to. Yeah. Because you know they didn't, like, do any. Or if it was that bad, it's like, at least give some, some kind deep. of tip. You're yeah. Like, I probably didn't mean to do a crappy job. Yeah. But, or things could have been not their fault. Or right. Or something. But, yeah, yeah, I mean, he was over the top. Like, yeah, I need more butter. Yeah, I need more syrup. I need more like everything. And every yeah, anytime she asked anything else, no. And then the second she yeah, one more. So yeah, I think she was. I mean, not justified in chasing him down, but you know, <laughs> but just, it's Fiona. But, exactly. Yeah, you expect it. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love when they have little, um, little characters that come in. You, you know, you will never see that guy again. Yeah. But they play such a good part. Like oh, everyone yeah. in the show plays such a good little part. It doesn't matter who it is. They like the writing is just so yeah, good. Yeah, they really so do. Good. Like the casting is amazing. Yeah, every yeah, I can't think of a bad ever a, a bad anybody like yeah. guest star, co star. I mean, nothing. They, they've all been yeah. There's really wonderful. not one character that uh-huh. I don't like. No, and especially what always amazes me. We, you talked about um, watching like a lot of these episodes most recently, and how watching the kids grow. Yeah. I'm just amazed. Like they started out so young too, and how amazing they are. Just mm-hmm. kids. They've only and had just, like one. Uh, you know, actress change. Uh, Mandy Did, changed from the first season yes. to the second season, which always is a little bit like, oh, uh, because you yeah. always like the first one. But she's, yeah. you know, done a good job since. But I'm really glad they kept all of the, oh, the yeah. other characters the same. Yeah. You couldn't change the main, no, like, you couldn't, family. No, if one of those guys, yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, but just, yeah. it would ruin everything. And <laughs> I would totally feel sorry for whatever actor had to come in and do that oh, because, yeah. you know, the, the fans would, would just have yeah, a hard time with that. Yeah, yeah. totally. So, so it's a good sure. thing they're sticking together. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. All right. Let's, um, well, what else with Fiona? Let's see. We, hmm. we, we, we already talked about the David, the band guy. Um, yeah. I mean, there was just Anything so much that we went on this them? episode. Yeah. Um, let's just, can we talk about Chucky for a second? Yes, we. I can always talk about Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, the man of very little words, but he's just, like I said, plays right? a hilarious part. And his banner when they walk into Sheila's house, it's like all, you know, written, like, it's all like scribbled. And yeah. of course, Frank's Frank. like, do you think Sammy knows that um, Chucky's like, may actually be retarded <laughs> oh man <laughs> those are the kind of moments where you're just like oh my god frank but then you just laugh yeah like, so hard <laughs> so hard he, the way he says it too i mean he just <laughs> it's just classic his reaction scene and then just kind of and then he's so serious about like right like he's like so seriously so much yeah <laughs> yeah no i'm glad you brought that up that's a good moment yeah <laughs> <laughs> And for Chucky, like, he just, he just always does whatever anybody tells him to do. And he just always, you know, he just, I don't know, he just has that They face. live in that I little trailer cut. next yeah. to, in the lot next, to, the next to Sheila's house. I mean, poor little kid. Yeah. Yeah. But hilarious. And I'm glad he's, uh, I'm glad he's in the show now for, yeah. you know, for a while. So. Yeah, me too. be funny. I think there'll be something... It'll, it'll have something big at some point this season, I think. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet. I have to ponder that prediction, but... Watch, he ends up being, like, super smart. Never yeah. Like, what, the <laughs> <hell>? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That'd be a good twist. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I think and I, that looks about all, like, all my notes from the episode. Yeah. So, well, let's one. go ahead. And I, I looked around. Not a lot of news and gossip this week. Did you notice anything? No, I not, yeah. like, nothing too new. Yeah, me yeah. neither. So we'll save something good for next week on that. Um, let's go ahead and dive on into our predictions. Okay. 
This is always the hardest part. And now, <laughs> you're after Buzz. I wasn't TV. expecting that. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> hmm. Ah. Um, I expect V to get in a fight with Svetlana. Uh-huh. Definitely see that coming. Um, and I also predict that she starts breastfeeding again. Just uh, because Kev's going to give her like yeah. a lot of shit about it. Yep. And then, um, what else? Fiona, I think she's going to try to get into Sean's good graces by being a little bit, you know, less dangerous. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I don't know. We'll see because that yeah. bad guy's there. So yeah, I Who know. I, I think she's gonna be. I think she might be with the band guy for a while. But okay. then I don't know. Who do you want her to be with? I I actually I think the band guy is hot, but I want her to be with Sean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, I just like him. I just yeah, I just I think they have great chemistry, and I just yeah. I think they're interesting together. And and the band guy is just more like like he's hot, but he's not like right. I like that he's a little older are. too. Yeah, I do too. Right. And I like that he at least he's trying to um, do the right thing. Like, yeah. He has a good head on his shoulder, and I, and I do think that they could be a good balance because I don't think I think he can still have fun. I think he can give up a little. He doesn't have to be as nervous about you know just enjoying sure. life again or having some fun. But, right. So I think they could be a good balance for each other. Right. For sure. Eventually. Yeah. But I still, I mean, I'm wondering when we're going to see Jimmy Steve again because we're two episodes in. We don't see him in the trailer trailer yet. I want her to end up with Steve. I mean, Me that too. was just such a good. I do too. Relationship. I mean, totally effed up, but so, awesome. <laughs> so that's why I feel like this can't. Do you think? I feel like that can't happen till towards the end of this season. It's not going to happen. I don't right? think until they decide to wrap up this show, like completely. Actually, getting together. Yeah. How like, How long forever. do you think until we see him? You think they'll get married? I hope they get married. Yeah, I think. I think married. they do too, and I think that's how the whole like the family the final will end. finale will. Yeah, because I just think she belongs. And with she's going to be pregnant and have yeah. her own kid. <laughs> yeah, prediction for like the Good far one. future, we, but that's like uh, yeah, that's where I'm thinking. That's where my head's at. I think that's a pretty good one to end on. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see that. Fiona is pregnant. Yes, at the and final there's a marriage. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Exactly. They've sold the house. They live in a, a great neighborhood now. Good yeah. schools. Yeah, and they're ever, rich. Happily ever after. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you again next week. Where can everybody find you at? Follow you at? They can follow me at HC Marie on Twitter mm-hmm. and Haley Clover on Instagram. Alrighty, and I'm at JJ Jurgens on Twitter, Jurgens JJ on Instagram, and on my blog at TomGirl.tv. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again next week. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.